What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Big Things Kentucky. What's going on with you, Coach Bill? What's going on? Have no fear. Big Things Kentucky is here. I'm Coach Bill, my main man, Coach Trump. Coach TV on assignment. Coach, what's good? Not much, man. Not much. We've just been hanging out, man. Uh, what's been going on this week? I know our man Jagger Burton committed to UK. He could have gave us the exclusive the other day on the show, Coach. He could have gave us the exclusive. We could have broke it. You know, for anybody else. But we did have him on. Great interview. Great young man. I'm proud of him. Congratulations, pick Kentucky. I think it's big for Kentucky. And hey, Kentucky's got like seven of the top prospects in the state of Kentucky signed for next year. So that's big for Kentucky football. Yeah. Well, you know, like they say, every coach that takes over a state college, you know, he always wants to put a fence around his state and try to keep the top kids from going out of state. So, like you say, that's big for Kentucky. And and they win the city of Louisville, too, which is big. And yeah. Louisville's not getting these kids like they usually do. So, this is big right here. It'll be eight days away from the start of the football season. Right now, this week, we are in shells. You know, that shoulder pads and helmets. Next week, it'll be full-blown football, baby. So, we're getting it's ready to kick thing. off this season. So, we took a trip to Versailles, Kentucky, to holler at Dennis Johnson and the Woodford County Yellow Jackets. What's going on here, man? Big thanks, Kentucky. We down here in Woodford County for sales. We down here at the Big Beehive with my guy, Coach Dennis Johnson, a good friend, former Kentucky Wildcat, uh, now head coach of uh, the Woodford County Yellow Jackets. Coach, what's going on, man? Man, what's good, man? We uh, just trying to get this season started off, man. Glad y'all came down to see us, man. We appreciate y'all doing some uh, good things for sports, man. We I tune in and watch, check you out on YouTube, man. I enjoy the show. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. But, Coach, you see Coach Truck Pitt against you. A lot, you know. I always go for you, coach. I can hey, say you see it a lot. You hey, man. Hey, I you said. Know of, I mean, they're every once in a while, but hey, I, I guess we gotta make you a believer. You know what I'm saying? But I, I get it. But I, I do be kind of like a little torn, man. I see. I said, man. You know, I say this Johnson, my guy, I got to ride with. I can't speak for him, coach. I apologize. I guess, hey, fifty-fifty now. I don't, coach, you know, man, you just be scheduling too hard, man. You're you know right. what I'm saying? We got to get there. That's one of my that's one of my things. My first few years, I did I did give us a brutal schedule, but we, we working on it. We're getting a little better, so we'll see. You know, we all know Whitford County's got a good wrestling program, but mm -hmm. should give you a few players. Yes. How's it been, man? Oh, it's definitely been a work in progress. You know, I think uh, my sixth year, uh, went six, six and five. Years? Yeah, it was a six year. Been six wow. and six, six and five last year, so yeah. uh, first winning season. But finally, got, the guys are committing. You know, I think mm -hmm. the thing we had to change is our culture uh, around the whole program. And I thought my assistant coaches have done a good job at doing that. Uh, kids are bought in. Uh, I used to go to the stadium all the time, man, during this COVID, man, and seen two or three kids working out. I hadn't seen it before. So I think our program is turning, man. Like you said, we we try not to shower from any competition. We like to play, man. But uh, but our kids are getting better, and we're excited where our program's going. Now I got to ask this question. How, 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 have you had to temper, taper your, your expectation of these kids, considering how, what program you came from, your dad's program right. down there? You started playing mid high school early on. You've been around the program. You've been around football. You've been at the highest level playing the NFL. So if you had, I mean, how's how your expectations been for these kids? You got to back down some. I mean, how's it been? Well, I think if you give a, a kid a, a, a realistic expectation, they'll reach it. Uh, I think I'm, I'm super duper hard on myself, man. And that's one. Even my dad, who in his old age, I said, "Man, you're getting a little soft." Cause I'm I'm super hard <laughs> on myself when we weren't winning, playing the yeah. Danvers and all these high. Profile programs. I think we have a chance to win just because of my competitive. But I'm also realistic, and our kids have, have bought in a lot more over these last few years. And so, yes, I did have to kind of change some of the things I've done. And as we've gotten better, I've kind of raised the expectation. And now these kids believe they can play with anybody and believe they can go out and win. Thus, is because they've worked hard and in the weight room and out on the practice field. So, so yes, but I, but I believe I just truly believe if you give a kid expectation, they'll reach it. Well, I can never see it because a lot of the kids leave you meeting. They was talking about give us Brian Station, give us this team. So that's good to see. That says a lot about you and what you've done in the program. No, nah, we just got a, a team that just canceled. So some of the kids, you know, they want to play, man. They want to yeah. go out and play. So they're excited to play. And like I said, I, I always tell them we don't want to shy away from competition now. I think a competition brings out the best. And and I used to be really bad, bad about losing. But, you know, sometimes losing teaches us a lot of lessons. And I think our kids have learned that over the past few years. Coach, yeah. man, you lost two very, you know, promising seniors that really carried you 
your team and the receiver, your son, Skyler, and the running back, Armonte Rice. Mm -hmm. How are you going to rebuild on that, coach, to get well, going? Well, it's definitely going to be hard. And I also lost my big tackle that went to East Illinois, Dagan Bush. The That's another thing yeah. I was going to say, yeah. man. Since you've been here, you keep this like a little lineman factory, coach. Yeah, so we, man, we, what's the secret, coach? We, 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 we keep some linemen, you know, and that's what I, that's, that's my wheelhouse. I mean, I said a lot of these coaches like skill. I'm a line guy. And those guys, to their credit, we come in on Saturdays and Sunday just get their extra work in, which I think you have to do to be a good lineman. But uh, to answer your question, man, we got some guys who are going to be juniors that got a lot of, play a lot of football. Uh, Jackson Geiler uh, led us in tackles last year. He'll be a great running back. Uh, we got a kid, uh, came to us from Henry Clay, Preston Stacy. Okay. Preston 6'1", uh, 205, ran 4'5", at our little combine on the laser. Uh, Bryce Patterson will be a junior quarterback who's been a two-year starter. So Bryce is about 6'2", 205. Okay. Throw the ball a lot better this year. You know, we're a triple option team. So we got some guys are linemen. I'm starting three juniors who start since they've been freshmen. Uh, so we try to, you know, we try to build our lineup and we do some lineman camps throughout the winter and stuff to get these guys going. So we're excited about what we have coming back this year. Now, Coach, you, I got to ask you about my guy Jasper. What, what, what can we expect out of my guy Jasper? They could be, they'll be holding him back, Coach. Uh, I know he gets his athletic ability from his mama. So I don't know what you expect out of that. He gets that from the east side. Uh, but no, nah, man, he's going to be a freshman, man. Play some quarterback, man. And, and probably he's a little better defensively than all I thought. He made a few plays the other day. So uh, just got to bring him along slow, man. He can throw the ball. This offense really doesn't fit him because he wants to throw it. And so we got some packages in for him. And we got a, a few other decent quarterbacks. But I expect them to be, come along and help us. Probably, maybe not as much this year, but a, but a year or two down the road. Well, coach, man, we wish you the best of luck, you know, and I'll be rooting for you, coach. Hey, are you really going to be? Hey, 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 come on. We got, hey, we got to win a few first. I got hey, you. I got you. That's all I'm saying. We win and we ride. I'm coach. with you. I'm with you, man. I appreciate coach, it. I ride the program anyway, coach. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for this guy here. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, coach, man, appreciate you sitting down with us, man. Wishing nothing but great success here, continued success. And like I said, I know it's been a little tough, but hey, man, you keep battling back. It's good to see you getting these boys together. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate y'all coming down and visiting us today. Man, it's good to hear Coach Johnson. Uh, how he came in with some praise and stuff. And how he had a struggle. He struggled early on, but like he's right in the ship. And they've given him time to get it together, too, down there. So that's big. Uh, you know, so it's good to see. He got his – he lost a son. He's graduated. And he got his younger son, Jasper, in. So – Hey man, it's, it's it's been interesting, it's been fun to see his growth down there in uh, in Wolfe County. We got a chance to speak to a young man who'll be a senior this year, going uh, looking for offers. We're here with J.D. Alexander, the Super Jacket. Man, I'll call you Super Jacket, man. So you know coming up, you're going to be the man this year, man. Running back, defensive end, you do a little bit of everything. Yes, sir. Coach Johnson's really, really excited about you, man. How you feeling about this season with the COVID and everything? I'm feeling good. It's going to be a good season. Interesting. Everything's falling in its place right now. So as a leader of the team, man, how, how you get these young cats motivated? How you try to get them to help get y'all to the next level? Uh, It's all like... You just gotta have energy, juice. Like, come out there, be excited that you're there, and show everybody that this is what it takes. Like, what it takes to be up here now. Okay, you going into your senior year? I know, man. It's not the year you wanted it to be, as far as you know, like everything. But how you feel about that, man? How you taking on this year? Uh, I'm just grateful to have a season, thankful for it, because like baseball and everything was canceled and stuff. So the fact that we're able to have a season is kind of it's, it's good. I'm thankful for it. Now, what, now, you play tight end, a little running back on the defense side. What, what's your favorite position? What position you love best? Oh, defense, man. Defense, defense man. Go. My coach say, you know, that's probably where you're going to play in college. You got anybody looking at you anything like that uh, right I, now, man? I had my first offer in, like, March or something like that. It was uh, Kentucky Wesleyan. Okay. And then I'm working to – Try to get more coming in. I'm huh? trying to keep it. You, See, coach, I got a problem, coach. You got these young quick cats at the end, gets us big tackles. I don't appreciate it, coach. <laughs> it ain't fair. You know, he looked like a running back for real. That's cheating, though, yeah, coach. He got that speed. It I got to get my kick step out there fast, try to cut him off. Yeah. Coach. yeah. Be giving tackles fits, don't you? <laughs> He's oh, like, yeah, all the time. He's like, sure. I, I love to see a fat dude That's come out there. <laughs> it's all right, man. Anything you want to say, man? Coach, I got, I got what they say. Coach, got, I, my, my guy, your waves is important there, oh, dog. Yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. You must have kept it on, kept it, just took the wave cap off, didn't you? No, nah, yeah, sleeping. I've been in it all day. Coming to football practice, I'll take it off. Oh, you That's wake up like this. Yeah, it's like that. That's what he's saying. <laughs> I wake up like this. <laughs>
Yes, sir. Hey, man, JD, wish you nothing but great success on the season, thank man. You, those you. little un unorthodox, the normal, but hey, keep shining, mm -hmm. man. Keep being lead to these young cats. Yes, sir. Thank While you. we were out there, we also got a chance to catch up with some other KHSA athletes, the cheerleaders, to talk about how they were, they were progressing under COVID and how it affected cheerleaders because it's not just the football team. It's all fall sports. So we got a chance yes. to talk to some of Woodford County cheerleaders. In this COVID world, we don't want to leave out the cheerleaders. We got two Whitford County cheerleaders as they practice to get ready for the season. Introduce yourselves, ladies. I'm Sarah Chapel. And I'm Ashley Jordan. All right, now Sarah and Ashley, y'all are cheerleaders. Y'all have been practicing as well with the COVID. What's some of the stuff y'all have gone through getting ready for y'all season? Well, tumbling in masks is a very different experience for us. We're not used to being all confined in the face. I believe that it is very difficult for us cheerleaders because we're used to people being able to hear our voice and the mask I feel like is going to like block our voice and stuff. Okay. Now will y'all be cheering at the games? We are. We're planning on it as long as nothing changes with the whole KHSAA regulations and all that. As of right now, yes. Okay. So what's something that you're looking forward to out of the team this year as you get ready for football season? Um, all the new talent coming in. We have a bunch of underclassmen, bunch of freshmen coming in. There's a lot of talent that's coming in. Okay, now what about on the cheer team? How y'all got any new, how the freshmen doing? They are doing really well. They're really fast learners and I'm excited about this season. <laughs> well, that's one thing. We just wanted to check in with the cheerleaders and see how y'all have been handling the COVID and make sure y'all be safe and have a great season. Give me a go Woodford or Wait, what y'all, go jackets? What's y'all cheer? Give me go jackets. Go jackets. Oh, come on, y'all cheerleaders. We can do better than that. Go jackets. Oh, no. Nah. Coach Nikki, they not representing. Uh -oh. I better let it go. Go jackets. Thank you, ladies, and have a safe and successful season. Hey, Coach, you'll miss a chance to interview some cheerleaders. I know your daughter's one, so you always try to give the cheerleaders a little bit of love because they all kind of forgot about a little bit. You know, they just cheer, so it's good to sit down with those young ladies and talk about how, how their season, been, all season been, and how much they're looking forward to these seasons to start. As you say, it affects all fall sports, soccer and stuff like that, and feel so it's good to get to get the other side of other than just football. Let you know big things, we love everybody. That lets you know, man, you how that big things, we listening to y'all. Let us know where we need to go, man. We getting ready to start this season off, though, and I'm letting y'all know I'm trying to be three-time, three-time pick champion. Yeah, Coach, I said it. Coach, let me ask you a question before we close out. How, how was it for you doing our first interview since COVID? You know, I will say it was good to get out. You know what I'm saying? It was a little, you know, we came in, we had to get a temperature check, you know, had our masks on. It was kind of like, like all the kids keep saying, and even the coaches, man, I'm just glad we're able to do it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's better than us not being able to do it. So I appreciate that. Hey, but as and always, I, yes, you be a living donor. I'm Coach Bue, my main man, Coach Truck. Hey.